Welcome to the Soulful Sound Podcast. I'm your host, Simone Niles, and I hope you enjoy today's Soulful Sound Coaching. Welcome to a new Soulful Sound Coaching episode. This week, I want to bring an old story of mine back to life to help you move through some of those stressful moments in your life. How often do you feel stressed and what stresses you out? Often we say we're stressed because of a sense of upheaval or overwhelm in our day or lives. Let me ask you this. Do you know what specifically triggers you to feel this way? I would like to venture a guess that it is related to how you view the small and or big challenges in your life. Simply put, your thoughts about them. The thing is... Not all of our thoughts are true, and sometimes they're just stories we make up and tell ourselves to make sense of a situation. But what if you could change your thoughts, tell yourself a different and better story to then impact how the events in your life affect you? Why is it that in the exact situation could affect two people very differently, where one thinks this struggle will end me? And the other, this struggle will strengthen me. How you view life stresses can only be determined by you. Just know that you have a choice in the matter. So, my story. On waking one morning, I decided today is going to be a good day. Okay, so honestly, that could have either that could have gone either way as I only had about what 5 hours sleep that night and my first thought was, "Oh, I wish I could stay in bed." And then I noticed the sun streaming through the curtains and thought about how wonderful it is to have a sunny day. I mean, after all, I live in London. And that was it. Today is going to be a good day. If only everyone else decided the same. So on my way out that morning, I had a whistle blown pretty close to my ear by a train station guard, which for a few minutes almost threw my decision of having a good day, especially since my ears were ringing. This was swiftly followed by almost being knocked over by someone rushing for a train. No apology necessary, sir. Okay, so at that moment, I could have forgotten all about the beautiful sunrise and sunshine and decide to be miserable and stressed instead. After all, these two, po- you know, these two people and situations, they were certainly out to get me and it wasn't even 8 a.m. So how was I supposed to survive the rest of the day sticking to my decision of no stress? This may sound simplified, but I just let go of the thoughts that suggested I be stressed, suggested that that was the way I should move forward. I thought about how I could reframe the incidents that happened in a better way. And I reminded myself that after going out for a good dance somewhere, that my ears would sometimes ring a little bit because of the volume of the music. Well, I know better now, I have got great earplugs, but I never got upset with the DJ. I also told myself that this guy rushing for the train was on his way to something important. And yeah, he was a nice guy, just rushing. While these examples of triggers, you know, these they're pretty simple and small in comparison to some of the challenges that we experience in life. I'd like to think that the principle is still the same, that we have some way in how we let triggers affect us and how our behavior and actions follow suit. My mother used to say, When you walk under a tree and a bird does its business on you, the bird didn't say, oh, there's that person I want to do my stuff on. No, it just did its thing and you happen to walk under it. So we have a choice. You can either brush it off, get cleaned up or be upset with the bird all day long. So there are a few things that I did there. In this story, it really was about setting an intention of having no stress that day. Then I was really mindful or present in the moment of potential stressful triggers. And finally, I changed my thoughts or story about them. So here's how you can implement this practice. Set an intention for your day. Then you want to be mindful and present when triggers arise. And last but not least, reframe your thoughts to something positive instead. And this, like all things that you want to master, takes 
practice. So take it one day at a time. Take it one step at a time. Decide today is going to be a good day. And I'd invite you to take the challenge and go 24 hours of brushing it off and getting cleaned up and reframe those triggers so that you can achieve a positive result and feel good instead. One day will lead to two, two to three, and so on. And then you'll be surprised what making one decision can do. So decide today that it's going to be a good day. Let me know in the comments how putting some of these practices into your day can help you and how it impacts your life. So here's to a stress-free day, everyone. Decide that today is going to be a good day. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to share it with your friends and remember to subscribe. From my heart to yours, sending you love, healing, and sound wherever you are.